Hello, YouTubers. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And uh, today I want to go back to Iraq. And uh, the stories that have been circulating that there are already U.S. combat forces uh, on the ground. So this comes as no surprise to anybody. But uh, an article came out that had a few more details, so I thought I would uh, discuss it and point it out. And uh, one of the things that made it interesting is this... Uh, these reports are coming from uh, Zumar, Iraq, which is incidentally the same area that that recent French airstrike uh, took place. And uh, this is a, an event that happened supposedly uh, last September 2nd. And uh, this is a, a, a reporter for the Daily Beast. So we have a, 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 a first-hand account uh, of these uh, events. And uh, supposedly we have U.S. troops working directly in the field with the Peshmerga. And like I say, let me back up a little bit and say that that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who's uh, paid attention to what's going on in Iraq and uh, also understands uh, how these things work. And uh, the United States, for example, using the same sort of uh, uh, tactics that... Uh, the United States accuses of uh, Russia in Ukraine, and accurately so. But uh, so what we have in a lot of cases is uh, mercenaries. And uh, uh, as it turns out, the Russians are uh, working more and more with private armies and mercenaries as well, not just the United States. So we have uh, 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 highly trained uh, Western soldiers with no insignia uh, arriving in uh, Iraq and in Kurdistan. And, uh, as well as uh, U.S. and Western Special Forces. And, uh, and in fact, a, a, re a reporter's arrived in Kurdistan, and the official said, uh, quote, yes, we want to let you in, but we can't. We have visitors. You will see them, unquote. So here's a, a Kurdish official pointing out the fact that uh, the Kurds are fine with reporters going into certain uh, combat areas, but... Um, they uh, have certain restrictions because uh, you will see uh, the visitors, unquote. And um, so, like I say, these are unmarked, um, with uh, no insignia, and Western Special Forces and contacts in the Kurdish intelligence, Peshmerga, said that, quote, yes, German and American forces are on the ground here, and they are helping to support us in the attack, unquote. And uh, two things that are interesting about that. One is uh, the idea that they're helping to support. And uh, certainly that could also indicate just a spotting and logistics and intelligence for attacks. But as we know, a lot of these operatives have to be in the field to uh, perform those duties. And uh, they will be in a combat zone, and therefore they're combat troops. And we know that the United States has acknowledged at least 1,600 uh, U.S. troops on the ground in Iraq and in Kurdistan between Baghdad and Erbil. And um, so substantial force, uh, certainly with force multipliers, uh, can be even more devastating. But rest assured, as I point out in other videos, that between the United States and the Baghdad government, we also have any number of mercenaries uh, being used in Iraq. And... Um, and, but uh, more importantly is the idea that there's German special forces on the ground in uh, Iraq. That would be a major revelation. As we know, they're restricted by their constitution from having uh, forces overseas. And it was even a big decision for the Germans to uh, have uh, help arm the Kurds. And yet now we have uh, someone suggesting that we have German uh, special forces on the ground in combat zones in Iraq. And, uh, and of course the Uni United States denies this as they would, but Kurdish military and intelligence uh, said that one team of U.S. special forces uh, fought al al along with uh, several German counterparts and they were working with Pesh murder units. And according to Kurdish sources, U.S. and German special operations teams had taken up positions in Zumar that allowed them to coordinate with aircraft. Um, so that's that's very telling. Like I say, uh, it's certainly not an indication uh, that there's a, a huge amount of uh, U.S. forces 
uh, on the ground, but uh, the, all, all this uh, squabbling about uh, uh, Obama uh, saying that we will not have U.S. boots on the ground. There's there's already boots on the ground, and uh, boots from all kinds of different countries, as a matter of fact. And uh, and the fact that we've already got uh, 1,600 U.S. troops on the ground exposed to danger uh, in Baghdad and in Erbil, and then we also have, uh, as we see here, these operatives in the field uh, who will also have support units with them and, uh, and and also the bottom line being that we just know how uh, the United States and other countries in the world do things and this is how they do things so uh, to think that there's any other uh, possibility other than US troops uh, are, are involved in combat one way or another in, in the United States right now another way to sidestep it of course is to uh, have CIA and we have a swapping of operatives a lot of times between different intelligence agencies. Uh, I think they call it sheep dipping, as a matter of fact, um, where they uh, trade operatives, and all of a sudden somebody who's in the military is now in the CIA and is, is an operative in Iraq and is uh, not boots on the ground. How very convenient. So there's any, any number of ways around it, but um, certainly the ground is being laid for the idea of, of uh, U.S. combat troops there in Iraq saying we don't need them, oh no, no, we don't need them all the while, like please, please, we need them. And uh, and then the fact that uh, we have uh, uh, germ, uh, uh, generals uh, taking the heat off of Obama, Obama kicking and screaming saying no, I will not send combat troops, while his generals plead uh, to send combat troops, and so that seems like an inevitability. Uh, somewhere down the road, uh, as we've seen, the airstrikes alone, as uh, many have suggested, are not going to be enough. We've already had somewhere around 200 U.S. airstrikes in Iraq, and uh, the uh, ISIS continues to launch new offensives and um, hold on to their ground. So, uh, so anyway, just a, a heads up: uh, the, the the media and the politicians and the military are, are massaging the public. Uh, getting them ready for the inevitability of some more uh, uh, ground presence by the United States. But uh, I'm going to massage and butter people up even more and tell them it's already started. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?